With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's begin with the question and in this question it says that two concave lens L1 and L2 are in contact with each other and if the space between the lenses is filled with a material of a smaller refractive index then the magnitude of focal length of the combination will be. So we have to figure out whether it is going to increase, decrease or remains constant. So let us draw the diagram first. Suppose so let's draw the diagram first. Suppose if we draw the diagram, let's say this is the combination that we are going to draw. Let's say this is the concave surface. Sorry, convex surface. This is concave one and this is the also same. Now what is happening here? This is the region which is not filled initially but after some time it is filled and these two are concave lens. This is L1, this is L2. Let's suppose their refractive index is N and N. So what we have to calculate is the magnitude of the focal length of the combination. Now let's suppose initially the material is not filled. So in that case, we have we can find out the focal length of the, the combination without material. So let's calculate. Now for the first one, the lens number one, which is L1, the focal length will be in this case is 1 by, let's say F1, and this is equal to refractive index of the lens upon refractive index of air minus 1 into 1 by R minus 1 by R. Now here in this case, if you see this surface is bulging in, so here R will be negative, while this surface is bulging out, so here R will be positive. So by doing this, the focal length F1 will come out, 1 by F1 will be minus 2 by R in the bracket, it is N minus 1. Say this is equation 1. So this is the focal length due to the lens 1 or L1. Similarly, the focal length of due to lens L2 will be 1 by F2 will be equal to minus 2 by R into N minus 1. Say this is equation 2. Now focal length of the combination of the lens when the material is not filled will be, let's say that is that focal length will be 1 by Fc and that will be the addition of 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2 and that will be equal to 1 minus 4 by R into n minus 1. Let's say this is equation 3. So here the focal length of the combination is negative. Now let's suppose we have filled the material now. So after filling the material, now the focal length of the combination will be focal length of the combination will be. So if you calculate the focal length of this one only, so in that case, let's say the refractive index of the material is n1. So for this we can say, let's say this is f3. So 1 by f3 will be equal to n1 by n minus 1 into 1 by r because this surface is bulging out. So this is positive r and the next surface is bulging in. So this will be negative r. So with this we have 1 by f3 and it is equal to n1 by n minus 1 into 2 by r. Now total focal length will be the combination of fc and f3. So that will be 1 by f total will be equal to 1 by fc plus 1 by f3. So 1 by f total will be equal to minus 4 by r into n minus 1 while this is 2 by r into n1 by n minus 1. Now this value is always going to be negative while since n is greater than n1 so this will be value will be less than 1 and less than 1 will be subtracted by minus 1 so this value is also going to be negative. 
now we have to figure out whether the focal length is going to increase or decrease so let us consider this by using a simple numerology suppose the focal length came out in this case in this case came out uh, 1 by 1 by only 5 so here if the material is not present if this material is not present and only focal length is this present so in that case if focal length came came out minus 1 by 5 so focal length will be equal to minus 5 in magnitude now if this one suppose if this one gives another value that is 4 so in that case when we add them let's say 1 by minus 5 value will be same and this is also giving the value minus 1 by 4 and in that case focal length will come out here is minus 20 by 9 so without the material the focal length was coming minus 5 but with the material the focal length is coming coming minus 20 by 9 so that means in magnitude wise after insertion of the material the focal length is decreasing so with this we can say that the magnitude of focal length is decreasing here so by that concept we can say that option d is the right answer that focal length is decreasing here so this is about this question thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today